An extraordinary and unprecedented scene at former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago property in Florida. FBI agents Monday executing a court-authorized warrant at the former president's private residence. Trump and his family were not at the home during the raid. His son, Eric Trump, on Fox News. 30 FBI agents, actually more than that, descend on Mar-a-Lago, give absolutely, you know, no notice go through the gate, start ransacking an office. Trump himself seen in New York ignoring shouted questions, but confirming the raid in a statement saying his property was under siege and that the agents ABC News the raid as part of the investigation. Into allegations, Trump improperly removed presidential documents, including classified material from the White House when he left office, a possible violation of federal laws. The National Archives refer the case to the Justice Department after retrieving 15 boxes of material from the Mar-a-Lago residence in January, some of the documents allegedly torn up. Trump and his top Republican allies, furious about the FBI raid, without evidence, accusing the DOJ of being weaponized, even though Trump appointed the current FBI director. That is to try to politically harm and intimidate their political opponents. That's what this is all about. Legal experts say before receiving approval for the search warrant, FBI agents would have had to prove to a federal judge there is probable cause a crime or crimes had been committed and that evidence was in the home. To send this kind of FBI team to the former president's home, there has to be something more. 